Thank you, Dr. Stewart. Um, as he said, my name is Derek Scarcella, and I'm a political science major here at Oklahoma City Community College. And today I'd like to share with you a story. This is a story about my first experience in higher education. I was 16 years old, and I was still a sophomore in high school. I knew that in order to uplift myself and my family out of poverty, I had to go to school. But being a first-generation college student, I had no clue how to make that happen. So I began doing what I do best. I started asking questions. I went to my guidance counselor at high school, and I asked her, I said, what do I need to do? How do I do this? What steps do I take? And that day in her office, she looked me in the eyes, and she said, Derek, don't worry about it, because you're not really college material anyway. That day, I allowed her words, coupled with my own low self-esteem and economic hardship, to skew my direction to college for the next 15 years. Many years later, after the birth of my daughter, I experienced a very profound paradigm shift, as I think a lot of new parents probably do. And I started to think, how could I expect my child to be successful and to love education if I couldn't do those things for myself? And so that is when I began to realize how important my degree was going to be. So I enrolled here, and it was the most terrifying thing I have ever done in my life. Uh, but I dove into my coursework headfirst. I immersed myself in the culture of higher education and the community of higher education. And very quickly, I began to figure out that despite my counselor's words all those years ago, I was, in fact, college material. I didn't just survive at OCCC. I thrived. I am so thankful that I made that decision to go back to school, as terrifying as it was. I've been asked to come here today and speak to you about what higher education means to me. And that is so, so difficult to sum up into words because for me, it completely changed my perspective in life. It equipped me with the skills that I needed to uncover the gifts that I already possessed. I am so proud to call myself an Oklahoman. And I truly believe in what education is doing in our state. Not just for me, but for the thousands of other high-risk students that call Oklahoma home. It is because of your work and your dedication and your leadership and your guidance that I am here today. Because of the work that you do, I have not only found my direction in life, but my purpose in life. And for those things, I thank you so deeply. Thank you. I think Derek is an example uh of the good work that we do and the lives that we change uh, forever uh, through education.